What's up guys, good morning. It's me Mo here. I haven't made a video video in a while. I just make a lot of vlogs and, and just like short form content. Um, so I've been trying to get back into video making, but like editing is really annoying. Um, anyway, so today, you read the title. I have picked up some Pride pre-workout in the flavor strawberry snow cone. I wanted the blue, the blue whatever it was called one, but it was not um, in stock by the seller that I wanted. Cause I buy my stuff off Amazon because shipping is free. I do, I pay for Amazon Prime yearly. So I don't have to worry about shipping. I would go to their website for like their deals and stuff, but I feel like the deals are taken back by the shipping price or the fact that in order to get free shipping, I have to buy more than what I intend to buy. So that's why I just go off of Amazon and buy from there, make sure it's their official page and get it from there. So as you can see by the really nice EHP um, plastic wrapping that I have not opened this yet. And I'm gonna go by the serving of one scoop, which they say to put into one, uh, six ounces of water. So nice fresh at the package, a little dusty, but I can't get mad because that's just the way Amazon stores in their facilities. Um, so it's like, it's not really their fault. Although it might be, it might be. Let me, let me not give them too much credit. All right, another safety seal. This is good signs. These are good signs. Easy to come off safety seal, even better sign. All right, this one's actually full up a lot more than I thought it would be because a lot of like powders, you don't want to have it too full because of something. But you see, it's quite full. It's like maybe this much air. And there is a reason for that. It's not because, oh, they're jipping us out of product. No, it's because of something to do with packaging and moving around. If it's packed too tightly, it causes an issue. Yeah. Anyway, so I have tried... AHP Labs products before I am now using their blessed pre work pre work blessed protein <laughs> protein powder and um, I have had oxy shred before in the sh in the can version the strawberry kiwi I feel like the um, powder version low key might be different so I have my water here in my Shakespeare cup my favorite cup because it is matte which is incredibly cute sorry my hands are a little wet from the cup so powder's not like super pink it's just a little bit. And I'll put it in here. I wish I had a clear cup or a clear like um, mixing cup so we can see the color. Let's see if it's like pink. I feel like it will be pink. So already kind of smells like candy, which is a good thing to me, like a little lollipop. I'm also planning to work out, so we're gonna see. I'm gonna come back after my work. Okay, it looks like it's turning orange actually, so I'm gonna mix it. Let me just, hold on. can I show you from here? No, let me pick you up. Come here. Looking kind of orange. Um, I haven't mixed it up at all, so don't don't take this. A, yeah. Shakespeare cup, not sponsored, but I do enjoy this. It doesn't need a ball or anything. So the thing about mixing a beverage is you're putting in the right amount of water. I like my stuff to be a little bit more watery just so I can hydrate throughout my workout while also getting more pre-workout in slowly. Because um, the pre-workout I usually have be, has BCAAs. I don't think this, yeah, this has some sort of BCAAs. It has like a EAA blend is what it says. So I'm assuming you can still get your BCAAs throughout the workout. Um, it was saying that it doesn't have a BCAA spike. So I'm assuming that that's how they, their specific blend is how they do it, is that probably gra gradually releases or something like that. Let's see what color it turned. Frothy and probably still like that orangish color. Yeah, it's still like an orangish color. That's about it. All right, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna tell you how it tastes. Ah, ah that tastes like chemical. Mm. It tastes like uh, when you take a, a gummy vitamin. There's just a little too much vitamin in it. And I'm not sure. It has like, so it has the strawberry snow cone aftertaste, but it has very vitamin-y uh, 
upfront taste and then it becomes an aftertaste after the flavor of, that they intended it to taste like. And I'm wondering if maybe I used too much water and so the flavor flavor is dying. Either way, I'm gonna, it's not so bad that I can't drink it, but it is like, it, is, it tastes like taking a vitamin. <laughs> And the thing that people don't think about is that strawberry is actually low-key tart. Like you can't mix a strawberry in a chocolate protein powder. I've tried it. The strawberry is just way too tart. So I think the tartness of the strawberry is both working with it and working against it. So I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to do my workout and I'm going to tell you how I feel. All right. So I just did my workout. Uh, would you like to see my pump? Can you already see my pump? Um... I think it's pretty good. I did not flex for you guys beforehand, I'm sorry. Um, but I thought that me just being unnecessarily strong right now is just like kind of obvious. So if you can see a difference in when I was just talking in the last clip, between my arm size, just normal, relaxed. I think I do, I think they look puffy. I think they look good. Cause I did a full body workout. So I didn't do just arms, but I did a lot of like, you know, back, which kind of works arms, like push-ups. You know, push-ups is like a, you know, combination. It does. A little bit of abs, a little bit of arms, a little bit of back, you know, depending on your positioning of your hands. This is not important, all right? Clearly, I am under the influence of a substance, but not um, anything illegal, of course, this. Uh, so it says focus. So the thing about me and uh, caffeine and like the things that are supposed to make you focus, uh, which is all types of caffeines, I get gym brain. I may or may not have ADHD, so caffeine is supposed to make you alert and focused, but if you have ADHD, you kind of just get sleepy. For me, I feel like I could focus in a way that it clears my mind. It clears my mind, gym brain on perfection. Um, it would have been better if I did cardio, but I just kind of make some cardio in instead of doing a run and then working out and then doing like a weight based workout. So I feel like this would work really good with that because my focus is really that my brain can just clear out and just go do the thing that I need to do. So I will say that that works about as good. Um, pump, I feel like this pump looks amazing. I feel like this pump looks amazing. I also have really good lighting, meaning it's very bad lighting for my face, but very good lighting for my muscles. Oh man, whoa. As you can see, I have gym brain still. Um, energy, I feel like, because sometimes if I don't take my pre-workout, because pre-workout is a nice tasty drink that gets me in the energy setting to work out, which is like, it's like a routine. It helps get me into the workout. I don't like want to randomly work out in the middle of the day just because I have time because it's just, it's like I need my routine. I need the time for my pre-workout to kick in and all that. And I feel like it gave me that, that energy that I was looking for because uh, like it's important to my routine of working out. Um, I only took one scoop because I'm not trying to die. Uh, recovery. I don't feel super sore and I did heavy weight or eh, it's my challenge weight right now. It's the weight that I'm working on doing 10 reps in a row as consistently as possible so I can then go up to the next, you know? Yeah, it's, what is it called? Progression, some shit. Yeah, you know, progressive overload. I'm working on that so I felt like I could do that without being as sore. Like I could feel it when I start doing more leg workouts than anticipated, like when I start moving my legs, I feel that my body is sore, but it doesn't like hurt. And me, I don't get that two days later soreness. I get the immediate soreness for like the next 24 to 48 hours immediately. I don't get that late, later soreness. So I feel like that is already good. Now, this is not supposed to be one of the ones that cause jitteriness, and I will say that it does not, but I can feel it kicking in because I start to get that, that focus feeling where everything around me just kind of like silences in my brain. I you know if you overthink, you have all that noise in the background. It just silences and I feel like I can hone in on this. Like I put on blinders. And so if I'm in the gym, I can see how that's like, okay, what do I need to do next? I'm done running. What Am I going to get that squat rack? I'm going to run down there as fast as possible. And what's my second plan if I can't get that squat rack before I get downstairs? Leg press, you know, like something like that, you know? Like, I feel like I can feel it working, it kicking in like that. And um, and I do feel like I could do, like, as it kicked in more, because I drank it, and then 15 minutes later, I started working out. And throughout the workout, as it kicked in more, um, I could feel like I could do more reps more easily, which is just a combination of just, like, 
getting into the motion of it because um after a while of doing the same exercise your body just understands oh we want to do this but i didn't feel like i was getting more tired as soon as i usually would like doing push-ups my own body weight i'm getting big i'm getting big good way um so it's a little heavier but i was found myself able to like push through and just like crank out 10 you know like super easy without super getting super sore until after that okay so i i would say i like it as a pre-workout it does not taste tasty though it's not a tasty pre-workout i can drink it i can like take that thing real quick so it's going to be the six ounces oh i guess it's 12 ounces for the two scoops so it's just going to be like i shotgun that because usually if it's a tasty pre-workout i can sip it and i think that's what oxy shred is going to have to be for me is a nice tasty bev that i drink in the morning while i'm getting ready for my workouts this this is straight up for performance so this would be one of the things that i shotgun because the taste isn't super bad it tastes like vitamins but um it's not something i'm going to sip for fun you know not that I would sip pre-workout for fun anyway, but like, yeah. Also, the bottle, look at the design. Look at this freaking masterpiece. And the artist who made it signed it, and um, yeah, it's really cute. I have the sneeze, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I like this product. I don't like the taste, but I like the product. The performance is good. And EHP Labs, um, I've been looking at them for a while because they support a lot of the creators that I follow because I just, I like following creators for entertainment purposes. And also I learned a lot from people who are doing similar things to me. And I, I like how they're in the community doing stuff, helping people out. Like, hey, you want a you wanna discount code? Here's a discount code, you know, that type of stuff. I wanna be one of those people, but I really don't feel like I should even ask until I get to a big enough amount of followers. So if you enjoyed this video, like, leave a like, subscribe if you wanna see more, cause I, I feel like I wanna try the blue one too. And then also get into the Oxy Shred flavors because I have a list of ones that I want to try. But it's going to take me a minute to get to them because I work a regular job. <laughs> so I, um, and I have like five kids. So it's going to take me a minute. Okay.